Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this training video is continue to take a look at creating parts using 1CNC geometry. Now, in this example, our geometry is a little bit more complicated than last time, but we can use exactly the same techniques. Here you can see we have our shape here, and we definitely have some fillets, and we have some holes that are created at these different fillet or arc centers. Alright, so same thing applies here. I have a layer called print box. This is just to make sure that I'm on track in regards to creating the geometry for you. So just like before, let's look at the overall shape and see if we can build this using just some lines here. So I'm going to turn our print box layer off. Let's head over to the main toolbar and select line. And I'm going to use coordinate input for this. So we're going to start at X0, Y0, Z0. I'll click OK for that. And now we're going to head over to X of 7 inches. That looks good, so I'll click OK. And now we're going to go down to Y minus 2. Notice how we're only typing in the axis that changes. We're going to use the same X value here, so we leave that alone. Just type in a brand new Y value and then click OK. Now we're going to head over here to X of 3 inches. That looks good, so we'll click OK. And anytime you're putting coordinate input in, you can always come over here and start snapping. So because our, our dimensions are pretty simple, for example, we could come down here to y minus 4.5 and left click and back over here to x0 and left click and of course you can come back up here and left click but I want to point out that it's easy just to head back over to coordinate input again if you wanted to just head back over here type in your coordinate values and don't forget to click OK when you're finished you can right hand mouse click and there you go or you can select a different option so you can see that when typing in coordinate input it's easy to swap back and forth between coordinate input and entity digitizing, grid snapping, datum snapping, or whatever you need to do there. So let's check this up against our blueprint now. We're going to bring our print box layer back on. That's looking pretty good. Now we can see we have some fillets here. It looks like these are a half inch, typical six places. So we're going to put a fillet on all these corners. Let's turn our print box layer off. Remember a fillet is a type of an arc. So you want to select your arc or circle tools. I'm going to grab fillet and for the fillet radius we're going to put in a half inch and it doesn't matter the direction in which we digitize in fact if I grab that line first with the left click I can come over here and get a preview I can even come over here and get a preview it really makes no difference which direction you're going I'm gonna left click there so left click and left click left click left click left and left it doesn't matter which direction you go it makes no difference at all just left click both those lines and when you're finished just right hand mouse click and it doesn't have to be lines of course you could be putting fillets on uh, circle line circle circle line line whatever you need to do there let's bring our our blueprint layer back on that's looking good now it looks like we have uh, five holes these that have a radius of 0.19 typical five places so let's turn that off we're going to head over here and we're going to grab our standard arc tool and the radius is 0.19 so I'm going to type in 0.19 for the diameter but then I'm going to type in times 2 and we'll hit the equal sign and that gives us 0.38 as the diameter and now it's just a matter of snapping these arc centers now to snap an arc center just wait till you see that little diamond left hand click left click left click we're going to come down here left click and left click and when we're done we can right hand mouse click or select another option so I think that looks good let's double check it I'm going to bring our blueprint layer back up and that looks good so there is our next shape that looks very good thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video